Let's talk for a minute about slicing and what's actually inside a 3D print. So I've loaded a design into my slicer. This design came straight out of Tinkercad. And I've got it in here. I can make a lot of different changes. I can resize it. I can move it around. I can rotate it. I can make some very simple cuts. But once I've got it the way I want it, then I will slice it. And that will convert it from a solid design into an actual shape that the printer can, can use. Now the printer will print one layer at a time starting from the very bottom. So here is the bottom layer. The printer is going to come in and make this shape. Notice it's a solid layer here. It's got a tiny beginning of a solid layer for the inside shape. And it's printing supports. It's going to need supports to hold the sphere in, in place and some of the pieces at the top. So let's move on up a little bit. Another solid layer. And as it goes up, you'll see the inside of these shapes are not solid. They have a pattern inside, in this case a grid pattern. And it's mostly actually empty space on the inside. It does have solid walls on the outside. So this is called a perimeter, and the inside space is called infill. And we do this because we don't need to print the entire inside in solid plastic. That would take a long, long time, and it would use a lot of plastic. So we can leave a lot of this as empty space, but we do need a pattern in there to give the whole structure uh, strength. And as we go up, you can see these supports are, start, are really holding onto the side of the sphere in the middle and allowing that to print well. And they're also holding up the part of the cube that's going to be on the outside here. Without the supports, the middle of this cube wouldn't have any way to print. It would be printing just on air and the plastic would fall in the, on the middle. So if you take into account how this is going to work and where supports might be needed on your designs, you can make some changes sometimes to your designs. So for example, maybe you don't need supports or don't need as many. And that will speed up the prints and also uh, make them look a little better. And so I can change all kinds of parameters on this. I can make the infill more dense or less dense or use some different patterns. But this is a pretty simple design and should work with the default settings. And now I can export this and print it on my printer. But in any case, that's all I've got for now.